Well, hello, Bill Shaka here. Welcome to another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Uh, last two episodes, we were kind of metaphysical, talking about uh, happiness and uh, <coughs> contentment and gratitude, etc. Uh, I'm going to be very pragmatic in this one because I got an email uh, from an ex-client saying that uh, he wanted me to talk about strategies of effective meetings. He was in one of my live sessions where I actually did a session on this. Uh, so what I did is I found some of my notes and I, I did my best to kind of um, condense uh, the information. I kind of have to because I'm constrained to no more than five minutes here. Uh, but I also wanted to take into consideration virtual meetings. So here's what I've come up with. Uh, strategies for effective meetings, both managerial meetings and sales meetings, if you could do this. Uh, three broad strategies that I would like you to consider. And think about implementing these in your next set or series of meetings. Here's the first. Set your meeting up so that it goes from broad to narrow. Uh, begin the meeting very generally. Uh, so, for example, if it's a sales meeting, you, wanna, you may want to give five minutes of sales training. Then you may want to go round robin and ask individuals uh, what uh, opportunities and threats they found in their marketplace for the week. Yes, SWOT analysis. Uh, when I teach principles of sales, I teach SWOT analysis uh, because ultimately you're in your own territory, which is your own business, which means you can do a SWOT analysis on it. So I'll ask individuals what opportunities and what threats. Then I'll try to get a little more narrower by asking you how many sales you made this week, what's the percentage of quota, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and just continuously make it more and more narrow. So I, I, I kind of view meetings like a funnel. And uh, if you can incorporate that into your meeting structure, I think what you're going to find is a more defined structure. Think about that. Here's the second strategy. Ask for answers. If you are in a particularly tough situation, you know, for example, <clears throat> again, let, let's extend the analogy of the sales meeting. Of the sales meeting, one of your salespeople say that uh, uh, there's, a new, there's a new kid in town, there's a new competitor, and uh, they don't know uh, what to do about it because they are uh, uh, better pricing uh, with the same quali uh, quality. Well, what you may want to do is ask around the room, what would you do if you're in this situation? What would you do? What would you do? And see what the answers are. Uh, you might have some salespeople coming up with, uh, with some broader answers. Uh, uh, you know, of course, you're going to get the, uh, the simple answer like, well, let's lower the price. And that's never really a good answer. Uh, but uh, there, there may be other things that you could do to add value and your sales staff might know. So don't just pontificate from the front of the room saying, well, I think you should do this. Ask. Ask everybody. You know, you're one brain. If you've got 12 salespeople in the room, that's 12 brains. Now you got 13 brains. Okay, use them all. Think about that. So uh, broad, go from broad to narrow in terms of focus. Ask for answers. And here's the third thing that I would consider. Give assignments for the next meeting. Okay, so as, as um, the meeting develops, homework may ensue. Don't be afraid to give that homework out to various individuals. Document what you are asking them to do. And before the next meeting, ask them how they are doing on the assignment. Now, the first time you do that, they may be pissing and moaning a little bit. That's okay. People do that in general. But what can, in fact, happen then is that people are going to start getting enthused and excited about doing this research and presenting at the next meeting because they're going to look important. They're going to look smart. They're going to look dedicated. They're going to look focused and so forth. Great ways of making sure that your meeting stays on track. So three strategies for effective meetings, both management meetings and sales meetings. Look at your uh, uh, progression as going from broad to narrow. Ask individuals for answers, especially in terms of problems. And don't be afraid to give out assignments for the next meeting. Make sure you document those assignments so, and then uh, you follow up with them prior to the next meeting so that those um, assignments are complete. You do that, you got your meetings knocked. Bill Shaka, thanking you for your time. Please like, share, comment. Please join the memberships. See you in the next edition of The 5-Minute Motivator. Bye.